Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from gravitation. Let me read out the problem first. The problem is like this. Infinite number of particles, each of mass m, are placed on the positive x-axis at a distance of 1 meter, 2 meter, 4 meter, 8 meter and so on up to infinity from the origin. What is the magnitude of the resultant gravitational force acting on the mass m, similar mass, kept at the origin is? That's the problem. Let's try drawing a diagram first. There is an origin like this. This is x-axis at a distance of 1 meter, 2 meter. 4 meter, 8 meter and so on up to infinity, a particle of mass m is placed at each point. Now, what it was being said like, another particle is kept at the origin whose mass is also equal to m. What is the gravitational force on the particle kept at the origin itself? So, on this M, all these M's applies a gravitational force. So, due to this, this mass attracts this now. There is a gravitational force F1. Due to this, there is a gravitational force F2. Due to this, there is a gravitational force F3. All of them are attractive forces and so on. So, the resultant gravitational force because as they are all vectors, F resultant is simply F1 bar plus F2 bar plus F3 bar and so on. But if you notice carefully, all these forces are acting in the same direction. As they are acting in the same direction, theta is 0. Vector addition is simply equal to the scalar addition itself. F1 plus F2 plus F3 and so on. If the two vectors are parallel to each other, theta becomes 0. F resultant becomes F1 plus F2. That's what we have learned in the vectors. So what is F1 between these two? G M1 M2 by R square. F2 between these two, g m1 m2 by 2 square, f3, g m1 m2 by 4 square, m1 and m2 are equal, and 8 square, and so on up to infinity. Simplifying this further, g m square of 1 by 1 square, 1 by 2 square, 1 by 4 square, 1 by 8 square, and so on up to infinity. G m square of 1 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 64 and so on. They are all in GP, geometric progression. And they are of infinite terms. So, you know, in infinite term summation of GP is, we are having a formula. A by 1 minus R. So, let us use that concept and find out the resultant F resultant force at the origin is G M square A means first term of the series, that's 1 itself R means ratio of the second term to first term or third term to second term They are all constant, nothing but 1 by 4 1 by 4 by 1 is nothing but 1 by 4 that is gm square of 1 minus 1 by 4 is nothing but equal to 3 by 4. So your answer is 4 by 3 times of gm square. This is the resultant force acting on the identical particle of mass m kept at the origin when there are infinite particles at 1, 2, 4, 8 and so on up to infinity. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons.
थैंक यू